This video will demonstrate how to create great columns in your Schoology gradebook. This is an easy way to use the gradebook, especially if you mostly collect paper assignments versus electronic submissions. This also works well if you do a class activity like a group project or presentation that you want to record in the gradebook. If you want to make use of all the other gradebook features, I recommend you watch my other gradebook videos linked in the description box below. I also recommend you complete the gradebook setup before you start adding assignments. Please view the gradebook setup video linked in the description box below. Here I am in one of my Schoology courses. Every Schoology course has a gradebook element. Click on the gradebook link in the left navigation panel to open your gradebook. Click on the plus sign and choose Add Grade Column. Name your assignment. I'm going to call this one Frog Life Cycle. Choose a due date. Choose the category. The categories listed here are the ones that you created in the Grade Setup page. If you haven't created any categories or you simply want a different category from the ones listed, you can choose Create New Grade Category and do it right from here. The period refers to the grading period. It will default to the current grading period, but you can click on the little down arrow to choose a different grading period if needed. Leave the factor at 1. Choose the grading scale. For TK6, I recommend you use the scale, the 1 to 4 scale, but you can choose any of the other scales from the drop down menu depending on what works best for this assignment or assessment. Aligning the learning objectives is optional at this point. This last row, the options area, allows you to individually assign this to one student or a small group of students. See the video linked in the description box to learn how to do this. The green dot means that this grade column will be published to your, student, your students as soon as you save changes. If you wish to keep it private for now, click on the dot to unpublish it. You can uh, publish it later when you're ready for your students to view it. Click on this icon if you wish to enable grade statistics, which will allow your students to view the grade statistics for this assignment. The last icon allows you to copy this assignment and all its settings to another of your courses. Click Create to finish. Your grade column will now be listed in your gradebook and you can begin adding grades for your students. Clicking on the, or even hovering on the title of the grade column uh, reveals the details, including whether or not the item is published. Um, track, let's see, oh, click on the three dots here to see more options. Click edit to make changes um, to the grade column item. This is where you can also publish and unpublish the item if desired. Track revisions allows you to see any changes you've made to student grades. Set all grades allows you to set all the grades in the column at one time. Click on that to open the small window where I can type a grade. So this assignment is worth four points. I'm gonna assign four to the entire grade column. Then I can come back and change any individual grades for individual students. I can also remove a grade from any student who did not turn in the assignment. If you hover in any of the grade cells, there's a little uh, speech bubble here. You can click on that to add a comment, which is also optional. Um, write your comment in here. And then if you want your student to actually see the comment in their grade report, click the checkbox here, display to student. And the reason for this is that you may want to make a comment that's just a, mem um, a memo to yourself and that you don't want the student um, to see. So do not check the box if you don't want your student to view that comment. Um, in the, if you hover in a cell, you can also see this little flag here. This is where you can mark an exception, which is what Schoology calls these little icons here. You can sub, uh, click Submit It. If the, the item has been submitted, but you haven't had a chance to grade it yet, that just um, alerts your student that you have actually received it. You can uh, do excused, incomplete, or missing as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the headings along the top here. 
So this is the members list, which you can sort from um, A to Z or Z to A by first and last name. If you have students in more than one section, click here to switch back and forth between your two sections. When you add your members to your course, go ahead and, and just make sure that you add them to the correct section that they're enrolled in, and then they will populate the gradebook um, in the correct section as well. You may have um, several uh, sections here, depending on how many sections of the course you teach. This is the grading period. Again, it will default to the current grading period, but you can switch to other grading periods if you like. In the materials, the default is that you see all items listed at once, so all of the grading categories that you've created will all be shown here in the um, gradebook together, but you can click to view just one, um, a, um, one category or another. The due date is either um, uh, date created or due date, ascending or descending. You can choose whichever you want to view and you can switch back and forth whenever you want. Um, click on the little uh, view drop down to see a variety of additional selections about how you can view and highlight your gradebook. The plus sign is where you select the add grade column um, where you choose that. Remember, if you choose any of these other items, the item will be created here in your gradebook, but it will also display on your materials page. So you want to make sure if you only want the item to be in the gradebook, uh, make sure to choose add grade column. These three dots allow you to do some additional tasks that you probably won't need. These little um, arrows here uh, will expand your gradebook, which allows you to see more columns on your screen. So the, and you can click on it again to return back to the former view. And those are the basics for using gray columns in your um, Schoology gradebook.